Good morning everyone, welcome to Little Words, which I thought we would have a little look at today, because why not, frankly? First things first, making our character, which we can do while we have a little think about what's going on. Oh, there's some lovely options in here, aren't there? Look at all these different hairstyles. Whatever are we going to pick? It's quite nice, the long one. Or the wavy long one, why not? Um, yes, yeah, so this game, frankly, as you can see, looks utterly adorable. And yes, we're going to have green hair. Um, and I picked this up fairly recently and thought, you know what, it's, it's going to be fun, let's give it a go. So this is basically the idea being that uh, it's after the hero, i.e. myself, has saved the world from whatever bad things have happened and this is the part afterwards where you're like trying to set up your own little town and get everything back to normal uh, that we drop into. Do we want that jazzy green one? Why not? Are we curious, a bookworm, a pirate, sassy, friendly or creative? Or naughty? Or kind? Oh there's loads of these. Curious. There we go, back to the beginning. What are we going to be? Pirate sounds fun, doesn't it? Let's be a pirate! I have no idea whatsoever what impact that is going to have on uh, the game or our character or anything in general, to be honest. But you know what? Who doesn't want to be a pirate? That is a question I find myself asking myself more and more these days, because clearly it is vital. Now. Piratey Boo is on her way with her little green shirt. And look at this. Lovely, isn't it? I do spy a few treasure chests around the place. I mean, even knowing nothing, I know that treasure chests are very important. Right. Move around. Say yes to things. Say no to things. Ooh! Bringing up the uh, old inventory, which we seem to have a few bits and pieces in. Uh, build mode too, that sounds like something we should get to grips with. And running! Woo! Is that really much faster? Who knows? Ooh, someone wants to chat to us. Boo, you're awake! I was so worried about you. You were asleep for three days. Sounds like a good time. All of the towns across Solom are finally beginning to rebuild. What? You don't remember anything? No. Are you going to enlighten me? Come on, don't be silly. No, apparently not. You, the hero of Solemn, saved the world by defeating the Dark Wizard. Wow, a badass. You really can't remember her? That means you probably don't remember the... Uh, never mind. We'll get you back to normal soon. Well, you gotta tell me. Tell me all my badass achievements. Well, first things first, we've gotta rebuild this town. Aw, oh, little hearts. They were cute. Oh, and now we're free. Hello. I don't know what this town's name was. How about we give it a new name? What do you think, Boo? Well, the game's decided it should be called Littlewood, and frankly I have nothing better in my head right now, so we are going with it. That settles it. This town will be called Littlewood. Hey, is that Dalton over there? He got my letter. Now we'll have more help with rebuilding Littlewood. Oh, and I almost forgot. Here's a blueprint for a house. You should build it right away. Oh, lovely. My house. The blueprint. I mean, it does sound useful, like something I would want. Oh, I can compliment you now, too. Some extra building materials are right by my house with the green roof. Feel free to help yourself to them. Once you build your house, let's go inside. So, that's her house. Oh, lovely. Some wooden planks. Thank you very much. Where are we going to put ours? There's some bricks. A little signpost. Oh, it's the calendar. Lovely. Oh my gosh, I want to know what Mad Chicken's Day is. Yes, please. That sounds like fun. Okay, there's a little post box here. My mailbox is empty. Hopefully I'll get some mail soon. Well, that kind of implies we should put our house fairly close, because, you know, we don't want to be miles from our mailbox, do we? Whoa, so the rumours are true. It's really you! Boo, our saviour from the Dark Wizard is alive after all. 
What, you don't recognise me? But we did so many quests together. Hmm, maybe the Dark Wizard's magic wiped away your memory. Well, in any case, this is cause for celebration. What, that I've lost my memory? I've decided I'm moving into town right away. Hopefully you can remember all of the funny jokes I told you on our past adventures. Oh, lovely. Dalton's coming too. So I guess we've got to build that for him. Let's grab this. Select Elevate or Move in Build Mode to move any object. Wow, well, we're basically magic. Goodbye trees! Oh, and some dewdrops, why not? Oh, we can gather things. Ah, but not those. No rocks yet, but we can have some weeds. No trees yet either. Sensible. Right. Okie dokie, what about this little fly thing? Nope, none of those, okay. Well, Dalton, it looks like you're in need of a house, so I've been reliably informed. Objects. Okay, so houses. We've got my house, Willow's house, and Dalton's house. Well, Dalton, let's give you a little house. Can we spin the house around, or does the house just stay in that direction? It seems like it just stays in that direction. Well, in that case, Dalton, you're living there. Why not? Where shall I go live? Oh, I've got a little blue roof to my house. I quite fancy living up on one of these things. This sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah, let's live there. And then, can I build some parts? Uh, mailbox, well, no. Structures, no. Okay, we don't seem to have any decor yet. Aha, flooring. Dirt road, lovely. We can have a little path going up to our door. Just what we've always dreamt of, eh? And because we're lovely, we're going to give one to Dalton too. Would you look at that? Most magical. Okay. And one piece just under the door and we are done for the moment. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Into my house we go. Right, it's looking a bit empty, isn't it? This house is perfect for a great hero like you. But it is a little empty. You should start by building a bed. I agree. No one wants to be napping on the floor now, do they? She sure does give me a lot of hearts. It's quite cute. Oh, right, build mode. Essentials? Yes, beds. Bed, bed, bed. Where are we going to put that? Over in the corner? Why not? Oh, we could have a few beds, but I feel like I probably only need the one. What have you got to say now? Tomorrow we should start chopping trees and mining ores. Dalton said he could set us up with some new tools in the morning. Oh, okay. No, I don't think I want to go to sleep yet, but it's nice to know I have the opportunity to. Right, what else can I get up to? Well, we can keep gathering up bits and pieces that we don't need any tools for. Apparently you need a watering can for one of those. Wow, this really is a rather lovely little place, isn't it? I've got no idea whether weeds are going to be useful to me in any way. Oh, I wonder if there's anything at the bottom of the well as well. Um, but you never know, maybe we will become the great weed master and they will become really useful somehow. Okay, some little ducks and things in there. If we go up here, what's this? Place dirt flooring to create stairs. Aha, good tip. Well, might as well do that in order to get hold of that there treasure chest, mightn't we? Sounds like a plan to me. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Like magic, ten grassy earth. Just what I've always dreamed of. Okay. What other things can we get up to on this fine Monday, day one of spring? Anything of excitement up here? It's quite a nice area, this, isn't it? Lovely, lovely. Okay. Well, oh, I spy another treasure chest down there. So, does it work in reverse? Can we put some dirt over here to create some stairs down? Is that how this is going to work? No, apparently that is not how this is going to work. 
But now we have two random squares of dirt! Yay! Just what everyone's always dreamt of, right? Probably not. Okay, question is, can we just go all the way around the side and get over there? Yeah, yeah we can actually. Probably an easier approach, wasn't it? Oh, I spy what looks like fishies in the ocean. I bet we can get hold of a fishing rod at some point. Okay. Last few little bits of the town to explore for now. What have we got over this side? I think we have stolen nearly every weed that might be found in this town too, which is probably a good thing. And look, a lumber mill. Hmm, lovely. I'm not really sure what we do with the lumber mill, but it seems to want some dewdrops. And these seem to allow us to cut some planks or something. I don't know. I imagine this is the sort of thing that will become clearer when we, you know, gather more stuff, get through time, pass onwards. But it's nice to know it's there, isn't it? Right, and what's this one exactly? This one is a smelter. Okay, so... I imagine this one's going to let us craft lots of, uh, you know, iron and stuff. Metals. That's the jazz, isn't it? Things that people like to use. Um... Yeah, that was a rubbish description. I'm just going to put myself to bed now. Let's wake up in the morning. Let's get those there tools. We'll just chat a little bit more to Willow first. And she says the same thing, which kind of implies, yeah, let's just have a nap, shall we? Oh, we've massively leveled up with Willow. Look at that. We're basically best buds now. I like this. That felt like we made lots of achievements. Oh, I got a good night's rest. I'm feeling optimistic. I'm happy for you. Right. Oh, we haven't met this little chappy here before. Hello. Hello, Dudley. Boo, is that really you? My goodness, how much you've grown. Yes, it does happen. Willow sent me a letter saying that you survived the fight with the Dark Wizard. I was so worried about you on your adventures. Hmm, you don't remember much. That's okay, Boo. What matters is the world is safe now because of you. Maybe this old man can lend a hand with rebuilding this town. Oh, lovely. A new chappy has come to join us. Never say no to help. We've got one piece of mail. Dear Boo, you're doing a great job with rebuilding Littlewood. Here's a little gift I got for you. Willow. Well, thank you, Willow. We'll have 50 dewdrops, why not? Most kind. Hey there, Boo. I hope you're getting accustomed to your new home here in Littlewood. Now that you're here, we can start thinking big. I think our next step for this town is to start earning some dewdrops. I've got a whole 150 of them. All over Solemn, there are many travellers and merchants looking for neat things to buy. We need to build a marketplace. Okay. We've got some more little hearts. Lovely. Right, well. We are getting the hang of this. Build, build, build. What have we got? We are going to create a little house for Dudley. I think he can go here and be your neighbour. And there's kind of already a handy little path. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Next up, we are having a marketplace. Ooh, you're a bit large. I've got no idea if there's like any sort of actual structure or like logic to where you should be putting these things. I'm just kind of plonking them down wherever I feel like. But you know. Win some, lose some. How bad can I really create it? It's a question that I'm probably not going to want to know the answer to later, isn't it? Um, where are we going to put this thing? It's quite big. Oh, it would go there, but that's kind of in the way. Right, I think what we need to do is move those trees. Okay. You can come out the way. And then if we can get these ones a little bit more out the way. Don't want to get rid of them, of course. Everyone likes a nice tree. But just get them a little bit out the way. And then see if we can't get that marketplace to now fit in. Ta-da! Would you look at that? Might put it there. And then there's sort of a bit of space around it. And then if we go for nature? No, not nature. Um, I was kind of hoping something would let us get rid of that little piece of pond, but I don't think it will, will it? Okay, well in that case we are going for some dirt road and we're going to complete this here piece of road. Lovely, all the way up to the marketplace. 
Doesn't that look magical? Now, oh, oh, we can sell things. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Not that I think I've really got anything to sell at this point, but it's nice to know the option is available. Right, let's bust in here and say hello to Dalton. Hey, Boo. This is a cosy house that you've built for me. Thanks a lot. I try. Now us heroes finally get a chance to relax. Crunch. Oh, it's an apple. So, I had this really cool idea for Littlewood, but when I woke up, I forgot it. Well, that wasn't very helpful now, was it, Dalton? I guess I'll just tell you all of the funny jokes I've heard since we last met. Gulp. Okay, 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 you ready? Two ogres walk into a shop. One says to the other, Hey, do you think they serve human here? Guess what the other one says? Wait, I just remembered my idea for Littlewood. Um, but, but... But what about the ogre? I want to know about the ogre. This town needs a shop. It would probably attract a lot of travellers. Each new person could help you regain your memory too. Okay. I think we are in fact going to build a shop and not hear about ogres. Who would have thunk it, eh? Right. Next question. How big is this here shop? Uh, Yes, this one. Structures. Oh, general shop. Okay, that's not too big. Would you look at that, though? Nice little convenient path, already in place. It's like someone was imagining I might come along and build these things. Maybe someone with a better memory than me. Ah, look at that, we've even got a little path going up there to the lumber mill area. Beautiful. Now, Willow. Oh, we can hang out with her now. That's so cool. Yes, let's hang out. I mean, I don't really know what I achieved by hanging out, but it's pretty cool, right? Oh, I can't talk to her now we're hanging out. And <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing. Okay. Um, shall we... Shall we... Uh, can we go around here anymore? Yes, yes we can. Uh, yeah, let's talk to Dudley. I remember the day you first set off on your adventure. My goodness, what an exciting day that was. By the way, come by my house when you get a chance. Okay. Well, that's something I can do, right? In we go. Ooh, look. Oh, no. I'm lying. We've actually gone to the shop. <laughs> yeah, so my memory. All over this. This shop is perfect. Oh, yeah. I stocked some neat tools. You can have them if you'd like. That sounds lovely. Those gloves will be useful for picking fruit and planting crops. That pickaxe will break any stone or ores around here. And that axe can be used to chop down trees for spare wood. Oh, thank you. That sounds brilliant. We'll have some of those. We'll have some of those. And we'll have one of those. Magical. Welcome to Littlewood's General Store. There are new items of furniture on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. All over this. Right, so, can I now chop down trees? What about tree stumps? Oh, look at that. Haha. <laughs> Magical. Basically, all over this. I mean, gathering stone. Boo, I found some dewdrops on the ground. Oh, well, thank you very much there, Willow. Oh, and some more. We're basically going to get rich at this rate. I have little to no idea what the exchange rate for dewdrops are, but yeah, she's finding loads for us. You can stick around there, Willow. Just come everywhere with us. Continually gather bits and pieces. Who's going to complain to that? Not I. Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, now we're going to visit Dalton. Let's go say hello to him. Oh, he's not at home. Hello. Hello, Dalton. Okay. Maybe he's still in the store. Yes, he is. Hey, Dalton. Now that my shop is open, I'll have to stock it with cool things every Tuesday and Thursday. I'll have everything from basic items to fancy furniture pieces. Thanks again for your help. This will definitely attract new travellers to Littlewood. Okay, so he's not got much else to tell us. I'm a little unsure about this hanging out thing, you know. Let's just chat to Dudley. Ah, oh, so Dudley's already told us this. Uh, Dudley did tell us to swing by his house. Which we have now done. Look at that. Thanks for building a house for me, Boo. It is perfect. I think I will make many good memories here. 
Speaking of memories, do you remember how to fish? <gasps> I knew there'd be a fishing rod. Fish, 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 fish. Hmm, so it looks like I'll have to teach you all over again. Oh, this is so exciting. Yes, it is. Should we try the compliment? You are truly something special, Boo. Ah, oh, lovely. Let's try some fishing! Okay, so I don't really know how this works, but I'm guessing... Did we catch it? No. No, 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 no. Okay, well that was a non-successful effort of fishing. As was that. Okay. <laughs> Take two. We are going to come round over here. This looks like it would be a better piece of the pond to fish in. Oh, but the fish has vanished again. Fishy! No, it doesn't seem like he wants to uh, be caught by us, does it? Interesting. Right, well. If we come in here and we look at our here tools, I can catch fish. It doesn't seem like you need to do anything extravagant, like provide bait or anything. Maybe those fish just didn't like me. What about in this pond? Hello there, fishy. Did we, did we do anything better with this fish? This fishy kind of swum towards us a little bit, but then vanished. Maybe fishing's not our strong suit, you know. Can't fish in the well. Well, don't worry, because we are really good at gathering weeds. An empty barrel, really cool. A crate filled with items, I wonder what's inside. Well, this is the point where you tell us what's in the crate. That's how this works, right? Cool, blimey. Okay, another pond over there. Should we go try fishing once more? How bad can it go, really? Famous last words. Okay, we're gonna do that. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy. No, fishy not interested. What about here? Fishy not interested? Oh, okay. I have a theory. I have a theory. We're gonna test it on this here. Final fish. Unsuccessfully. Okay. Yeah, so we may not be the best fisher on the planet, but never mind. We're good at gathering rocks. Oh, it's night time. Would you look at that? Probably time for us to catch some shut eye. But don't all the houses look lovely with these little uh, lanterns outside? Oh, I love it. Up here we go. Yay. Good night, Willow. Okay, so that was rather beautiful. All these friendship levels. And we got some skills. Wood cutting extraordinaire. And it's Wednesday, day three of spring. Ah, we made some friends. And I got a good night's rest and I'm feeling creative. What are we going to get up to today? Ah oh, yes, day three of spring. Hello Willow. Let's talk to you. With a marketplace, new travellers and merchants will appear to buy your items. I recommend selling any weeds and meteorites that you find laying around. Well, never fear, I am good at gathering weeds. They actually sell for quite a lot of dewdrops. We can do that. Let's give you a compliment too. You really like my blueprints? Well, I like it when you build them. Ah. Hello there, Dudley. Do you remember the first time we fished together? No. Hmm, that wizard really did a number on you. You were very young then. As for me, I was in my prime. We went out onto my old boat on late Okiwoki and fished all day. I had to cover you up with cold towels because of your sunburns. That sounds awful. Ouch. Painful. We still had a lot of fun out on the water though. Now because of you, folks everywhere can have days like those again. Although I don't recommend getting that sunburn. It sounds disastrous. Little hearts from you. Let's check the mail. Dibu, I'm very happy living in my cosy home here in Littlewood. Thanks for having me. And he's giving us two DeLuca coins. Well, thank you very much. Most kind. 
And since we're here, let's chat to Dalton. Hey, boo. I know, I know. My face looks terrible. It does look a bit weird, doesn't it? This morning I was trying to pick some weeds around my house and... A big dragon wasp stung me right in the face. I'm going to craft a bug net and I'll catch every last one of those bugs. Good plan. And hopefully you'll let me know how because there's lots of those cute little, uh... What do you call them? Glowy things? Who knows? Uh... Uh... Things that have, like, the the light on the their bums that fly around. I don't know. They are a type of bug, I promise. I'm not just making things up. Oh. So as I level up, I can sell more items in the marketplace. Okay. Aha. So here, we can set some bits and pieces down. Have some weeds. Have many, many weeds, because I'm good at collecting weeds. Doesn't it look great? To be fair, it looks a lot more glamorous than uh, if I'd known they were weeds. They look almost like some sort of cute celeries or something. Because yeah, everyone uses cute and celery in the same uh, the same sentence. Gobby merchants will pay a good price for weeds since it's their favourite snack. I'm not sure if they eat meteorites though. Ah, that's all of Willow's chat for the day. What about you? Are you going to tell me anything else? Willow sure talks about you a lot. She says you really inspire the people around you. I very much agree. Why, thank you, Dudley. That's most kind. What about you, Dalton? Give me some time to craft that bug net. My face hurts too much right now to move. Okay, we can do that. And down here we shall come. Let's see if we can't actually manage to catch a fish today. Stranger things have happened, you know. No, we probably won't manage it, but I'm going to continue to try until we catch one. One day. Right. Not like that. I'm not sure, you know. I feel like it shouldn't be this complicated, and yet here I am, making it very complicated. What other shenanigans can we get up to? Right. Any more fishies up in this pond? There's one up the top there. Okay. Let's head over that way. Round here we go. Um, oh, we can't come down again from here, can we? We'd have to go all the way on our little merry journey round to get to the back. Never fear, we can smash this rock on the way. Because, you know, this is where our skills lie. Wanton destruction of nature. Right. Can we do it? No. No, we can't. Apparently we are just incapable of catching fish. What is their secret? Sneaky little scaly guys just swimming away from me. Can't say I'm too sad. Good on them. Good on them for their strong survival interest. Right, get that one chopped. And, um, yeah. Let's check out... Oh, that was quite interesting. Oh, do you look at that? Huh, I quite like that. Right, let's go for a little snooze and we'll see what tomorrow brings for us, shall we? I wonder if we get a bug net tomorrow. Maybe we'll be better with bug nets than we ever were with fish. Oh, we got some merchanting skill. Quite a lot of merchanting skill, in fact. I guess someone's been and bought all of our weeds. Thank you kindly. I got a good night's rest. I'm feeling confident. Okay. Let's take on the world today. Hello there, Willow. You know, Dalton made a good point this morning. He says you need an official title and your own office. What do you think your title should be, Boo? I mean, it's suggesting Mayor. I like Grand Overlord, but I feel like that might be past the character limit, so we'll go with Mayor. Why not? It's decided. You're officially Boo, Mayor of Littlewood. That has a nice ring to it. Now, our new official Mayor is deserving an official building. A building where you can write new rules for Littlewood and for all the townsfolk. Ah, oh, lovely. Well, thank you very much. You've got a real knack for building things, Boo. You inspire me to work hard and to be more creative. Let's build ourselves a little mayor office, shall we? Why not? Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? A little clock on the front. 
Great Scott, the clock tower! Okay, I think it would look quite nice up on this hill. And then we're going to need to build you a little path, because of course nobody wants a bad path. Look at that! I mean, I kind of don't like how it's a double one, because it's a little bit off-centre. But then, a triple one doesn't really make much sense either. But it's done now! At least it is symmetrical. Magnificent. Should we go inside? Let's see what our building looks like, shall we? Oh look, we can sit in our chair. Wow, your own official office. It's very fitting for Littlewood's Mayor. Over there is your brand new office chair and desk. That's where you can sit and make new town wishes. That plaque on the wall is also very important. You can view Littlewood's town beauty score. Well, Boo, check it out. Uh, yes. In the chair we go. Oh, look at this. Huh, this is wonderful. So we just pick a wish, and apparently it costs us some dewdrops, but uh, then um, things just happen. Should we try selling weeds for more? Oh, lovely. Okay, well, we have now. And this thingy. And a bookshelf filled with interesting textbooks on the history of Solemn. Well, why don't we just read that, and then we'd probably know all about what we've been up to. Should we see how beautiful it is? Ooh! Well, it's gone up from messy to cute! Ah, lovely. We can go with cute. And here you go, town wishes purchased. Very few. And look at that, a little list of all the things we've managed to gather. Most lovely. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm working on a new and exciting blueprint. But it's not quite finished yet. Well, thank you. You really know how to make me feel good. Ah, come hang out with us. Yes, let's hang out. Oh, look at this guy. Bubsy. Hello there. He looks like a duck. I was walking in the woods and I stumbled upon this town. Some folks are saying that you're Boo, the hero of Solemn. Hmm, I expected you to look a little bit more heroic. I'm Bubsy, Solemn's greatest chef and fashion connoisseur. Move in, move in. This place looks to be in desperate need of my good food and fashion sense. I'm sure my signature slime pudding or bubbly dragon drink would satisfy your townsfolk. Slime pudding. That sounds gross. Yay, he has moved in. Let's talk to him. Well, I'm not going to sleep on the ground, you know. My house should be built in a place where everyone can see it. Okay. Well, let's do that. We can build your house. This is one thing I've got down pat, is building houses. And look, yours has got a lovely little green roof. Where should we put you? Up here, perhaps? I mean, that's pretty where everyone can see it. Right in the middle of things, between my house and the town hall, and near the notice board. So yeah. Let's hope you're happy with it. What do you think? Thanks for building me a house, hero. Why don't you come over for a cup of tea? I'll do just that. Love me a good cup of tea. What kind you got? That is the question. Hmm. This is smaller than I'm normally used to, but I think it'll do. Living in the same town as our hero is definitely a nice perk. Well, for the rest of today I shall be shampooing my feathers. Perhaps tomorrow we can walk around Littlewood together. I would like that. That sounds very pleasant. Thank you, Bubsy. Do you know much about fashion trends in Solemn? This scarf is a statement about my intellect and individuality. Okay. I wonder what statement I'm making with my nice little neon green shirt. Maybe just that I like the colour green. Hey, Dudley. Hey, Boo, I forgot to tell you something yesterday. While you were out adventuring, this old man found his green thumb. <laughs> Was it like an add-on? Do you just stick it on the side of your hand? I grew all types of veggies on my old farm. It was quite rewarding. In case you wanted to try growing some crops, I wanted to give you this. First, you place some tilled soil down. Then you place some crops on top. There are many types of crops in Solemn. I'm sure you'll discover all of them. Oh, very exciting. I'm going to grow some carrots. And apparently I've got a new blueprint for a slime apple tree. Lovely. Carrots take about two days to grow. 
You can sell them for dewdrops or use them as cooking materials. Mmm, carrot cake sure does sound good right now. Right, I know it's uh, not carrot cake season, but my god I love carrot cake. Carrot cake is my all-time favourite cake. I'm also still incapable of fishing, so let's check the mail. Dear Boo, I've been buying some of your items at the marketplace. I can't believe you sold all of this cool stuff. Congrats on hitting merchant level 5. Thank you, Willow. Dear Boo, I just want to say you're an inspiration to all the townsfolk. Thank you again, Willow. Here's all my mail from Willow. No, no, no. It's alright. Dear Boo, I like slime apples, but not if they are rotten. If I find rotten ones, I usually throw them at Willow. Want to try it with me sometime? Uh, hell yes. That sounds great. But look at this. We appear to have gathered all of these here dewdrops. And I'm pretty sure... Oh yes, I've got plenty more weeds for you guys to come and purchase. Treat yourself. Right. Hey Dalton. Yo, boo. I fixed my face. Can you tell? Yes, I can see both your eyes again. Also, I made some bug nets so that we can catch all those pesky dragon wasps. Here, you can have the good one. Aw, thanks mate. That's very kind of you. There are all kinds of bugs that can appear in town. It really depends on the time of day and season. Right, well. Let's see if we can't find us a bug. There were so many around before. I bet they've all vanished now, just because they know I'm looking. But we can do it. We can find us a bug. They've literally all vanished. All of them. All gone. Okay, well. Let's continue to do a little bit more bimbling around town. What else have we got going on? Got more of these to gather so that, you know, tomorrow we can still sell plenty of them. Become super rich and all that. Yay! Look at this. She seems pretty good at finding us dewdrops when we're chopping down trees. And, you know, don't really need any of these. We can always plant them back, right? I think that's how it works. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I want to find a bug, though. There were bugs. I know there were bugs. Oh, there's one over there. Can we do it? Can we do it? Are we going to be any more successful with bugs than we are with fish? Please. Yay, we got a flutterfly. Boom. <laughs> one thing we can achieve. Also, it's a Thursday, so let's see what's in this here shop. We have got an aqua carpet, a plain brick, and a petal chair. Okay, interesting. Interesting indeed. I'm not really sure how any of those will benefit me, or what I'm really going to be using them for, but you know. I like to chop things down, so let's just keep doing that, shall we? This game is really rather lovely, isn't it? I'm really enjoying my time here. Even if I cannot catch a single fish. Maybe I just need to leave it in the water for longer? Who knows? Anyway, while we fail to catch fish, we should probably head off for the day and, uh, you know, leave it there. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I strongly recommend this game if you want to just uh, chill out and have a little relaxing time. If you do want to leave a like or subscribe to the channel, that would be absolutely magnificent. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye